I am making a video to show you the next step for our painting boot camp. Um, today, you are going to use temper cakes. Temper cakes <clears throat> look like this. They, um, each color is in a little cup and then the color is down in here. Temper paint is really um, like thick paint that's like pudding but the tempera cakes are dried out versions of that paint. So it's kind of like watercolor, but it's gonna give you a really bright color. So um, we are gonna paint with these today and I'm gonna show you how. Let me turn this sideways and turn this down for you. Okay, just like last class, you've got your water container and it's got your four sizes of paint brushes. Your super large, your regular large, your medium and your teeny tiny. Um, so today you're going to get to use these and we have to clean them appropriately. Um, in the last class, we learned how to paint appropriately and that's our goal today using our temper cakes. In the last class, we started a practice piece of paper. Some of you chose to um, make a piece of artwork on it or some of you chose to do just like I did in practice. So I'm going to continue working on my practice paper um, and keep going. If you have made something in the last class that you did not get to finish, um, you can do that today. So if I, I've got this, well, let me do it here. Let me put you down. There we go. I've got this spot that I did not get to uh, put water on in the last class. So if I want to do that today, I can do that also. So I'm going to start out by putting my water on here since I didn't get to do that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to clean out my paintbrush in the water. Um, let me get this where you can see it. And then my temper cakes, I'm going to um, start using them. So since today is practice, we get to practice again. Now, if you're the first class of the day, your temper cakes might be very dry. Okay, They're super dry right now. So if they're really dry, we're going to have to get them wet to start. If you're somewhere in the middle of the day, they might already be wet because the class before you got them wet. So you might not have to do this step. Um, if they look really dry, we're going to have to get them wet. Um, just like watercolors. So, oh, and what you don't want to do, do not move these around. Don't pick them up. Leave them right where they are. We've got the warm colors together, yellow, red, and uh, orange. And we have the cool colors together green, blue, and purple. And that's so we don't mix them and make a big mess. We don't want to ruin the paint. Let me scoot you over a tiny bit. Okay, so here's my paper. Here's my paintbrush. I can choose whatever size I want to start with. I want you to be able to see the water. There we go. I'm gonna uh, slowly, gently pull, and I need to get my paint wet. So I'm gonna put my brush in, I'm going to give it a swirl. You can see that happening here. And I want to swirl a few times. I'm not pressing hard. I don't want to press hard. I just want to swirl until it starts to look wet. And you can see it's starting to look wet. It is not a big puddle of water. We don't want a big puddle, but we do want it to look wet. So if you swirl and it doesn't look wet enough, you can go back in, get another little drip of water and add to it. I don't think I really needed to do that, but you can. We don't want big puddles. If you see big puddles start, that's happening here. I need to stop. Okay. So then I'm going to be able to paint with this. So I can use a large brush and I can paint large spaces. Um, I'm going to put this in the water and show you what happens when I clean my brush out. I'm going to gently brush it across. Notice my water is getting really dirty right away. I'm going to, um, I can use a small paintbrush and I can paint small spaces. I can paint on top. Look, that makes really great little lines. I can paint on top of what's already dry that I did in the last class. Now, if I want to switch to a new color, we've already learned this. We need to clean out our paintbrush if we're using the same one. Um, I think I'm going to try maybe this paintbrush just to see what happens. I'm going to slowly, gently pull. I'm going to choose another color. 
let's say I choose, um, I'm going to choose blue. I want to see what happens when I mix them. So I'm going to rub, rub, rub. Oh, I can see I already need more water. I'm going to get a teeny tiny drip more. Should you be picking up your paint colors? No. I'm going to swirl it around and I'm going to put my blue on top of my green just to see what happens. Uh, nothing really. Um, I got some great lines. Now, if I really do want my colors to mix, I can do it while it's wet. So I can clean out my paintbrush gently on top of those little lines in there. I shouldn't hear this. If I hear that noise, you're pressing way too hard and being mean to the paintbrush. I'm going to slowly, gently pull. I'm going to go back into my green, get some green, and put it on top and see what happens when I mix. Ooh, I'm getting this great blue-green color. Now, if you are somebody who drew an actual picture, um, let me find a pencil here, and you want to paint inside your lines, that's fine too. So let's say I draw, I don't know, a heart and maybe a few hearts. And I want to paint them in today. I can find the brush size that I think is going to work. Um, let me see. Maybe I want to paint a heart this purpley color. I'm, gonna, I'm using the small brush. I should probably use a big brush to get it wet, but this is working. Here we go. Notice I'm not digging. No digging. Should I dig? No, because look what's happening. I'm getting a bad hair day already. I don't want that. I want to gently tickle the paint. Ticky, ticky, ticky. And that's how I'm going to get my color on there. So I can color in. Oh, gosh, that is a beautiful color. Now, my color right now is very dark. If I want my color a little bit lighter, I can go into my water, gently just touch it into the water, and my next one ooh, will be a little bit lighter, but it's too wet. My paint's going to run. So I'm just going to go back to my edge, slowly, gently pull off some of that extra paint because it's too wet, go back to my paper. Ooh, and spread it around. I still feel like it's too wet. Slowly, gently pull off your extra water. There we go. Now I feel like it's really wet, so I'm going to leave that sit. Now if I want a lighter color, go in. Slowly, gently pull. If I want a lighter color, I need more water. Ooh, see there's like a light purple. If I want a darker color, I need more paint. So our goal today is to practice with the tempera cakes. What colors do I like? What happens if I mix colors? Am I using my paintbrushes appropriately? Um, should you ever pick your paper up? No, because if you do, it's going to start. There it is. It's going to start to run. And we don't want that. We don't want to ruin our artwork. So we want to leave our paper flat. But your goal, you got a choice. You can practice on your paper you already had because I can see what happens when I put paint on top of paint. Or if you feel like you finished your last piece and you want a new piece, you get a choice to get a new piece today. It's going to be totally up to you. So during class today, our goal, just like last class, is to practice with the temper cakes, see what you like, see what you don't like, and figure out how not to get your paint dirty. Our paints should not be mixed. You can see here that somebody had some blue here. Somebody did not do a good job cleaning off their paintbrush. Cleaning your paintbrush, especially the yellow, will get dirty very fast if you do not clean your paintbrush. So cleaning your paintbrush today is super important. All right, um, in a minute, you're going to get to decide. New piece or old piece? What do you want to do? Um, and if it's your old piece, you can just, if you, if you want to save your old piece and you don't want to use it, Stick it on the floor. I'll give you a new piece and we can get started. Make sure you put your name on the back of your new piece. Your old piece should already have your name on it. Where's my name? There it is. All right, that's it.